Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how you can prepare to do an import using GiftWorks Anywhere. Now, importing into GiftWorks Anywhere is very similar to importing into GiftWorks. And the actual process of importing your data uh, is almost exactly the same. There's a little bit of preparation that's different, uh, different and that's what this video is going to primarily cover. But the actual process of importing is pretty much the same. And there's a video series at our YouTube channel. Let me bring it up here. If you go to youtube.com slash giftworksconnect, there's a, a whole uh, video series dedicated to understanding how to import into GiftWorks. And that uh, the actual process of importing is pretty much the same as importing into GiftWorks Desktop. But for GiftWorks Anywhere users, there is a slight difference when it comes to preparing. Uh, for the import. And the preparation really has to do with getting your import files, the actual files that you're going to be importing into GiftWorks, in the correct location. And by that I mean placing it in the proper file storage. And so before I do that, I want to quickly review the, the difference between the file storage on your local computer and the, and the file storage using uh, for GiftWorks anywhere. So let me bring up a picture real quick. And if you'll notice this picture on the left hand side, it just shows a simple picture of your computer. And on your computer, and for this is for PC users, for Mac users it might be slightly different, you have a C drive, some main uh, drive on your computer that, uh, that can, in this case, we'll, talk, we'll assume it holds the, the import files that you want to import, whether it be an Excel file or an Access Database file or a text file. Uh, you might have other drives, like a D drive for a CD-ROM drive or a DVD, and you might have network mapped files, uh, folders as well. You might have, you know, um, uh, network drives as well. But it, I assume that most of you, will, or all, if not all of you, will have a local C drive, and that's the drive that will, will assume holds your import files. Now, on GiftWorks Anywhere, there's a number of drives that you will have as well. All of you will have a G, an H and a V drive. Let me just review those quickly. The G drive is your group drive. That is a drive that's shared by all the GiftWorks Anywhere users at your organization. And this is going to be where you're going to want to store your GiftWorks database file. All of you will also have an H drive. That is your home drive. It's used for your own personal storage. So for as many GiftWorks Anywhere users at your organization, each of you will have an H drive. That is yours and yours alone. And any information you put there will not be accessible by other users. And then you'll all have also have a V drive. This V drive stands for virtual drive and it's a drive that links back to your local C drive and by that I mean this. It's not an actual drive on GiftWorks Anywhere. It's called a virtual drive or a link back to your local C drive. This is important because as we're talking about preparing to do an import, it's going to be important to understand what the V drive is and how it relates to what to your C drive. So you have a G drive and an H drive which, which are actual drives where you can store folders and then you have a V drive, which is a virtual drive or a link back to your local C drive. You also may have a Q drive. For those of you using QuickBooks, that's where you would store your QuickBooks company file. Um, but don't be alarmed if you don't have it. But all of you will have a G, an H, and a V drive. Uh, so your computer drive and then the GiftWorks Anywhere, for, uh, Anywhere drives. And to see that, I'm going to open up the File Explorer for GiftWorks by clicking on the little blue icon in the lower right hand corner. Uh, you probably won't have as many icons as I do, uh, but you'll click on File Explorer for GiftWorks and that's going to bring up the File Explorer. Let me straighten my window out real quick. And when I bring up that File Explorer uh, for GiftWorks, I'm going to look at my computer. Now keep in mind this is not your local computer, but rather the GiftWorks Anywhere computer. And on there, uh, you're going to have a G drive, just like, let me put this next to this one, you're going to have a G drive, an H drive, You'll have a Q drive if you have QuickBooks, and then you'll have a V drive, which is a virtual drive back to your C drive. You notice how it says C dollar sign on client, which basically means that it's your C drive on your local computer. So if I click on this plus sign, I'm going to see folders, but all these folders I know are actually on my local computer, not the GiftWorks Anywhere computer. So I'm going to drill down. I know that I have two files that I want to import into GiftWorks, and they're located on my desktop. So I'm just going to go to Documents and Settings under administrator. It's taking a moment because it's going back to my computer, uh, my local computer, reading my, uh, reading the folders there. So I'm going to click on desktop. And I notice if I scroll down on my desktop, I'm going to see two files. I see an import.mdb, which is an access database or a JET database. And I have an import Excel file. And this could be the same for a text file. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to take those and I'm going to copy them to my either my G or my H drive. Now on my H drive, I know I have this import files folder. 
and I want to put those two files in that import files folder because when I import from GIFWorks Anywhere, I'm going to import from my H drive. Now some of you may say, well, if I have a V drive, can't I just um, import right directly from there? Well, the difference is that this V drive, because it's a virtual drive and it maps back to your local C drive, there's a long time, or at least from a computer's perspective, a long distance between um, GIFWorks Anywhere and your computer. And sometimes that distance can cause problems when importing. And so we recommend that you simply take these files that you want to import, in this case this MDB and this Excel file, and I'm going to take them, I'm going to simply drag them, and I'm going to let them go, and they're going to copy to my H drive. And if I click on the Import Files folder now, I'll see that I have an imported MDB and an imported XLS file. And so now that I've copied them to my local H drive, I'm ready to start importing. So let's go over to GIFTWorks Anywhere. And I'm going to sign in. I'm going to go to the Settings area, Database Files and Maintenance, Import and Export, and I'm going to click on Import a File. Now when I click on Find Import a File, I know that I'm going to go under my H drive, and I'm going to go to Import Files. And when I do that, I'll see this Excel file. Now if I was changing it to this Access Database, and I click Find Import File, I would see the MDB file. So I'm just going to stick with the Excel file for now. Double click it, and it's on the, you notice it's on the H drive. That's where it, that's where it should be, either the, either the G or the H drive. Click on Next. I can go through, verify my donor information looks correct. Correct, I can go ahead and just quickly map. First, middle, and last name. I'm just going to skip everything else. Click on Next. Do a quick test import. I'll see I have my three donors. Click on Next, and I can go ahead and complete the import. And once I've done that, it goes ahead and verify it, and I'm done. And so that's how easy it is to go ahead and uh, copy your files uh, using the File Explorer. Copy your files from your local drive, from your local C drive or another drive. Drag them up to either your G or the H drive using the File Explorer for GIFTWorks. And, uh, and then once you've copied them to your G or your H drive, you can proceed with an import uh, as normal. Uh, keep in mind that there's a, if I go over to my, the YouTube channel, there's a video series dedicated to importing files, uh, importing files into GIFTWorks at youtube.com slash GIFTWorksConnect. Uh, so this video will help you kind of get ready for the import, and then this video series can help you go ahead and actually perform the import. So, hope this video has been helpful in, in uh, helping you to prepare to import files using GIFWorks Anywhere. Uh, I trust that it uh, helps you have a successful import, and if uh, you need any help, uh, don't forget to contact, ex contact us at support at giftworksconnect.com, or you can go to support.giftworksconnect.com uh, to, uh, to get some help. All right, thank you for watching. Appreciate it.